what does this ruling teach us? Um, unlike the making a murderer case, which mostly involved sinister music and sound effects and general statements about the police department that the plaintiff was a member of and broad statements of opinion, this case involved a statement that was clearly about Hazelwood. That is, is this a guardian angel or a stone cold killer? It was a statement that was clearly about Hazelwood because his picture was on the screen at the moment that it was set. I, I suppose you could argue that this narrative just asks a question and doesn't explicitly claim that Hazelwood committed the murder that Gilvery was later convicted of. But if you look at the statement in the context of the entire documentary, you can see why a reasonable viewer might take it to be an allegation that Hazelwood committed the murder. Uh, the documentary, after all, is about how McGilvery protected a woman from an assault, that is, he was a quote-unquote guardian angel, but also murdered a man in cold blood, that is, he was a stone-cold killer. Uh, so that statement by the narrator wasn't just a question, it was a summary of what the documentary claims that McGilvery did, 